In Acts 25, we're kind of right in the middle of the different trials that Paul is going through with different governmental leaders. And in Acts 25, we see that Paul appears before Festus. Let me read to you the opening of this chapter. It's, it's so interesting. It says in verse one, three days after Festus arrived in Caesarea to take over his new responsibilities, he left for Jerusalem, where the leading priests and other Jewish leaders met with him and made their accusations against Paul. They asked Festus as a favor to transfer Paul to Jerusalem. Why? Well, it tells us, planning to ambush and kill him on the way. But Festus replied that Paul was at Caesarea and he himself would be returning there soon. So he said, those of you in authority can return with me. If Paul has done anything wrong, you can make your accusations. I find this so interesting. As you read through the 25th chapter of the book of Acts, you see Paul is put in a place of inquisition. He's questioned, he's accused of many different things. And throughout this entire chapter, he says, listen, I'm not guilty of any of these things. But here's what I find so interesting about the religious leaders. They're not even really concerned with the truth. I mean, they're willing to put Paul to death to ambush him, not to give him a fair trial, but for them to save face. And you know, here's the thing about leadership. I think for you and I, we need to be looking for leaders who aren't necessarily always right, but are always real. See, here's the thing. People would rather follow a leader who's always real than is always right. And in your own walk with the Lord, in your own interactions, your own sphere of influence, don't be one who has to save face at the expense of others. That's what these leaders were doing. They were willing to ambush and commit murder to kind of save face and keep the position that they had positive in the eyes of others. But Paul, he stood on scripture, he stood on truth, and he allowed his actions and character to speak for themselves. And I just want to share with you this morning, there's so much freedom in being someone who's real. No one's always right, but today you can be real. So as you follow the Lord today, follow him genuinely. Let your character, let your attitude speak for themselves in how you love and live like Jesus.